You're listening to The Angry Designer, where we cut through the industry bowl to help frustrated graphic designers survive and thrive. What a good day. What a, a good day this was. lovely day. Blimey, it was great, wasn't it? was it? a great day. <laughs> Again, I'm not even going to try that. No, you were good. You were too good there. Well, maybe. I'm practicing for, a little bit. For our English fans. <laughs> <laughs> so we did start the day. Mm-hmm. It was like a great way to start the day. It was because, a, that was an awesome, awesome way to start it. Right? We had an interview today. We interviewed, I guess, our next guest, which yep. we will let you know at the end of this episode. Yep. You're going to want to listen to this whole episode, number one, because it's a great episode. Yep. And number two, because we had a great fucking interview, which really, we'll go into really detail good. about, but yep. we're not going to say who it is at the end. Eh, you might be able to figure it yeah. out, you know? But yeah. uh, at the same time, what a way to start a fucking day. <sighs> that was right? awesome. Because it was a shitty week otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had people cancel on me yes. with like no notice. I yes. had another customer today throw me under the bus with his marketing person. And I, I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? I heard that. That was the the notorious one that we, Woo. yeah. I, wow, that was a that was a heated uh, discussion. Dude, there, I just friend. want to finish that job. <laughs> yeah, and, and be then done with it. Kill it and bill it. That's it. <laughs> this is one of those kill it and bill it times. Yes, exactly. But I think I'm at. The is end. it worth it? Yeah. No. It's, it's and and at this it. point, it's it's sadly, and it's not. It's not. A. We don't. We're not excited working on the projects anymore. Right. Right. We don't love the projects. Yeah. It's always like a. Oh, Fuck, yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. And number two, well, we're not being financially compensated for working on projects that we don't love. Yes. It's, you know what? Hey, pay me 150%, you know, or 200% or hourly rate. Sure. Yeah. We'll, we'll I'll, do it. We'll I'll do anything happily. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just like, dude, I'm not making money on this and I'm yeah. not enjoying it. Yeah. So why are we doing this? We're yeah. putting, so this was a matter of let's just finish the job. Yeah. Get it out, yeah. you know, because it's still. I'm still excited about the job, mm-hmm. just not working with the customer. Just so, not working. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah. needless to say, that was done. This yeah. is just, it's been a funny week, but we yeah. did a logo reveal today as well. How and, did that go? You know, that went awesome. Oh, it did went very good. 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 Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're just uh, which we'll we'll do the the comps next week. We'll right. do some of like putting it in spot, and then we'll pitch it back out to them. So nice. it's down nice. to three, and you know. Um, not to like say anything too crazy or anything, but like two of the concepts are yours, Sean. Oh, good, right? Two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy so shit! Wow, cool, really? Right? Yeah. So good job. Oh, thank you. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, that was kind okay. of fun. Well, I can't wait to see that. Woohoo! Uh, so I have no idea how to segue in tonight's topic of conversation, right? Do, do it backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, because okay, okay. I just want to say, set up this. This is one of these episodes where I have no idea what's happening to me. <laughs> Sean has Other no than... fucking idea what the hell we're doing. Okay, he he, he kind of has a more bigger so idea. than normal. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so so there is this um there is this Italian game show I watch with my dad. Right. Yeah, yes. And uh, you gotta love the fucking Italian game shows, uh, they're right? They're the because, best. You know, nothing, no rules apply. Mm-hmm. North America, you know, we we understand, you know, sexism. Mm-hmm. We understand, you know, like you know, you, you don't want to like play into people's, you know, features, whether they're big, broody guys yeah. or handsome or girls with yeah. you know very big feet. <laughs> well, none of that applies in Italy. This show is crazy because. There's no shame. Yeah. They'll have a scantily clad girl, right, <laughs> as their hostess or, or as one of the extra hosts. And, you know, when they'll zoom in, they don't zoom in in the face. Yeah. They start at the <laughs> bosom and they move up. <laughs> Same with the dudes. They've got the buff guys on oh. there and they start at the six pack and they scroll up. <laughs> it's just, I mean, it's, I don't even know why I'm telling you this, but. That's <laughs> awesome. It is, is, I'm, I'm watching this in disbelief. <laughs> <laughs> that it's actually on TV. I'm like, how is this even getting away? <laughs> like, and it's not like a little show. It's a yeah. huge nationwide show. Yeah. Here, if you put that on there, you'd be straight up canceled. Uh, yeah, dude, in a second. <laughs> it I wouldn't know. even make it, it here. Even make it here. Except the producers would probably keep it in their <laughs> back room for private <laughs> exactly. reasons. But okay, but uh, but the the ultimate end of this it ends up being like a, a twenty five questions they have to answer right, and oh, it's right. timed. Oh, it okay? is. Okay, and and the correct way to answer these questions is you have to answer the wrong question. <laughs> so if I'm like, okay, Sean, two seconds, quick, what color is the sky? <laughs> Blue. Nope. Wrong. <laughs> All right. You lose, wrong. right? You have to oh, say yes. black. Oh, I got to say right? black. And oh, it's like, shit. it's just like, you have to constantly be thinking of the wrong question. Oh, and it, shit. That's hard. It is hard. <laughs> and it really kind of fucks with your mind yeah. because it's like, you know, when you're doing this whole opposites game, mm-hmm. right? It, you have to actually intentfully first 
do the think of the opposite right and then make a decision for you know the wrong it was it's a really messed up way of <laughs> thinking things through it's an extra step it is it's yeah. like it's something way and um the whole point of this exercise isn't necessarily everybody's tired about do this in order to succeed and yes. do that to succeed and yes. everybody's getting kind of tired of constantly being reminded oh if you want to be successful do this do this do this do yeah. this right so what we're going to do tonight yeah. is I'm going to give you 25 career killers <laughs> for graphic designers, okay? Okay. You want to kill your career, do, <laughs> do these 25 <laughs> things, okay? Because this is guaranteed <laughs> to kill, kill your, career. your career. All right. And in fact, what this is going to do is it's now... It's, it's the opposite now. Yeah. You're like, well, if I want to succeed, I just don't yeah, have I to do die. that. <laughs> if I want to be a good designer, yeah. I just don't do that. I do the opposite. Don't do this. So it's it's like talking to my kid then when she was a teenager. <laughs> you know, like, you don't do this. And they would do it. And they know? would do it. So this <laughs> shit works, man. This shit works. Okay. Okay. So, and you have no idea what this I list is. I have no clue. Okay? Yes. This but is scary. for the record, the title of the show yeah. is 25 Ways to Kill Your Career, to <laughs> destroy your career to annihilate oh, wow. your career up in flames as a graphic oh, designer wow all right okay so this is good let's start off with fonts okay okay yeah career killer number one with fonts use lots of fucking you, fonts you can never have too many fonts you, you can never you can never you always and always use the most hip ones right <laughs> mix them up Right? Have four, five, six <laughs> different fonts in your layouts, okay? Yes! Because oh, again, it great. keeps it exciting. Oh, that is such a right? great... Yes! It's, it's a really cool fucking way yes. to design, okay? Yes. So, and number one, okay? <laughs> yeah. Use lots of fonts. That's right. Go to go to Font Squirrel or DeFont and Defont. just get the weirdest shit right. you can... Download, and, and, download, yeah. download. <laughs> okay? Seriously. Put them all in an ad. Guaranteed. <laughs> Guaranteed. Fantastic way to use it. I love fun, it. Okay. 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 This is Number good. two. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Always center align all your text. <laughs> center align. Okay. Your headlines, your sub headlines, even fucking body copy. No, never mind. Even the important stuff like bullet points. Yes. Center oh, align. That my favorite shit. bullet point is the center align. The center align, that. right? I mean, it's it's easier on the eyes, of course, because it's just. You know, when you start aligning to the left, it's just, it gets boring because <laughs> yeah. books are aligned oh, to the left. Everybody reads that way. You know, Whatever. so you, you, you almost have to think twice. Yeah. No, no, let's mix this up. And I, and, and I love, because I hear it from customers all the time, center align this, please, center right? Align. Nothing is more exciting in a layout when the text is center aligned. Yes, I absolutely agree. And you know, it's funny because I get decks from our clients with the center aligned bullet points and it's just like, wow, oh, how got, did this even happen? New level. <laughs> Center align your text in PowerPoint, PowerPoint presentations. Yeah, PowerPoint, yeah, there you go. Dude, I was only thinking that, on web and in no, ads. No, you could really hit the shitty bottom. Wow. <laughs> wow that's that. fantastic. Yes. I never thought of good, good one. Good one. All right, number okay. three. All right. Okay. Yep. If you need to, mm -hmm. don't be scared to stretch fonts. Oh, I mean, yes. there's a reason why Adobe put that feature in there yes. where you can grab the fonts and yep. stretch <laughs> them wider. Okay? Like this whole kerning thing. Yeah. It's like a really overrated. overrated. Yeah. Okay? Yep. Like Adobe's used it. They yep. put it there for a reason. Mm -hmm. Why else would they have it yes, there, right? Exactly. If the space <laughs> allows and you need to, stretch yes. that. Nothing is more interesting than a yes. bastardized font, in yeah. my opinion. Uh, totally. And you know, the best part is, is you could take like Gilson's, like the big fat black one, right. and then squeeze it up. That's the really cool. Opposite, you condense dude. it. See? Yeah, oh yeah, this yeah, I'm going I'm going with yeah. your opposite theme here. You condense a a bold or black mm. font. <laughs> It really has a nice character to it. Nothing it says I love typography than yes. when you take yeah. the font in your own hands and yes. you take liberties to you stretch, stretch it, skew the way it should have been the done. The way it's supposed right? to be done. Like, fuck, Garamond has been around for too long. It, yeah. You know, they, no, no. Using it straight, no. Forget yeah. it. No, no, no. It's not It's not the way they intended it when they made that. They, they wanted it stretched and squeezed and exactly. pinched and prodded. Exactly. <laughs> so that's number three. Okay, Beautiful. guys. Well, I'm, I'm you know, doing good here. Right? Okay. Don't yeah. be scared to stretch fonts. Yes. Number four. Okay. <laughs> Look for the hottest, trendiest fonts out right oh, now. Oh. Okay. And use them. Oh. 
don't waste your time with those boring, <laughs> you know, traditional fonts that have always been around, like the Helvetica's, yep. the, the, the the ones that you you know you've heard around for decades and yeah. decades. I mean, everybody's seen them. Yeah, they're boring. Yes. Okay? Why use them in your designs? <laughs> Look for the trendiest shit the out trendiest there. The trendiest stuff, right? yes. The shit that you know is like, wow, AI is hot right now, and this font speaks AI. <laughs> That's right? right. That's it right. It was used in a movie, yep. even better. Yes. Fuck. That's right. And for good reference, see that uh, Saturday Night Live sketch on on Papyrus. On Papyrus. It's <laughs> always a good one. That's, yeah, that's always a good one. Yes. Raja Nadani is your friend. It's your <laughs> friend, guys. Go download that shit immediately, okay? Yes. Damn. <laughs> so look for the hottest fonts yep. out there right now and use, use them. Use them in your logos. Use yeah. them in your ads. Everything. Oh, everything. Use that shit. Yes. Cool. Body copy. The huh? whole works. All right. And number five, mm-hmm. okay, our last one on fonts. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Don't worry about legibility, guys. <laughs> Seriously. Okay, because the cooler the font, yes. the better. Yes. It doesn't have to be read yes. easily anyway. Because, yeah. I mean, customers are all into it for the design. Yes. They, they don't need to read that shit, okay? Yes. Fucking David Carson has been doing it forever. <laughs> and, I mean, again... <laughs> We're all just as good as David Carson. We are. Okay? Easily. So if he can yeah. do it, yeah. Yeah. why <laughs> can't you? <laughs> right? I mean, he's How the How hard could it be? Right? <laughs> exactly, right? Jeez. So don't be scared to use fonts that are completely illegible. Yes. Because, again, that's that's the best part of yeah. our industry is uh, breaking is, all the rules. Yes. Okay? We're not in the communication industry anyway, really, well, are we? No, we're, we're not. We're <laughs> no. artists. You know, yeah, we're, we're artists. artists. We, uh, we don't, yes, exactly. You know? Yeah. So- you know, I'm, quickest way to destroy just, your career <laughs> fonts wise. Number one, use lots of fonts. Yes. Number two, always center line that shit. Number three, don't be scared to stretch fonts. Number four, look for and use the hottest, trendiest font today. Okay, today. And last but not least for number five, yes. round up fonts. Yep. Okay. Don't worry about legibility. You don't know. It's overrated. It's not a big Nobody deal. Nobody reads. Yeah. Yeah. And then you can get a career in designing metal album cover fonts. <laughs> right? With all the hairy, you know, that band names. Hey, yeah. right? That shit's coming real. That's yeah, huge. Yeah. Yeah. I can't read any of that shit. <laughs> all right. Now we're going to move over to awesome. design. Oh, okay. We've got six, you know, we've got another five points here. Four design. Design. Okay. All right. So again, these are, you know, these are good ways to kill your design career, okay? You think you got some design chops? Wait till you yeah. use this shit. Yeah, try okay? this stuff. You'll be you'll be out in no time, <laughs> guaranteed. Yeah. Okay, number six. Yes. Okay. Look for the hottest trends out there right now yep. and use them. Yes. Okay. I'm talking like Hard. bubble letters. Yeah. I'm talking like bubble liquefied letters. fonts. Yes. I'm talking about trends that are out there right now that make no fucking sense. <laughs> yes. Okay. And use that shit. Okay. Yes. And there's a whole bunch of reasons. Number one, I mean, because you've got no style for yourself. <laughs> so yeah. you want to jump on these trends that Eggs. are they're here today, right? And the yeah. best part about this, yeah. okay, yeah. it's reoccurring revenue because mm. you're going to jump on a trend and deliver it to your customer this year. Yeah. <laughs> well, fuck, next year you got to go back and be like, dude, Up nobody's else. doing that anymore. Yes. We got to we got to change some yeah. shit, right? <laughs> so again, it's like you've constantly got this stream of business <laughs> because you're going back. You got to update their shit to you the do? newest latest yeah. shit. It's a great, actually, that's pretty smart. That's yeah, a great yeah. revenue right? generator. Absolutely. Yeah. I, you go in, I could see the pitch. Like, I don't know who the hell designed your trendy shit last year, but yeah. you got to go, uh, wait, wasn't that you? <laughs> So, yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, this but is the hip stuff. Different. Yeah, yeah, it's different. All right. So number six. So again, look yeah. for and use the trendiest trends. To you your love it. Love okay. It. Number seven. Mm-hmm. Use lots of colors. Oh. Lots of of colors okay yes. this whole limited palette color bullshit forget yep. that okay yes. i'm talking use pastels with yes. neon yes mix that shit <laughs> up you know throw in some effects like metal effects yes. right yes they don't necessarily have to all mesh no, together because they shouldn't right because again <laughs> then you look like a normal graphic designer and this isn't about being normal this is no. about you need to amp this shit up to yeah. destroy that fucking that's, career that's exactly. right exactly so again don't be scared to mix up your color and yes. even if they don't make sense, yep. that's all right. Yes. Because that's what this is about, using yes. all these colors. Exactly. And designers out there, 
we're not using enough plaid. Yo, right. I, I patterns. Mean, there's patterns. Again. Plaid patterns, really complicated right? shit. The Come more on. patterns yes. on top, you know, yes. and again, don't be scared to make patterns clash. Yes. Right? Clashing is where We're it's clashing at, Clashing is hip. There was a fucking band <laughs> named after that, okay? Yes, that's right. So don't be scared to mix up <laughs> these patterns with these colors. We need more of this. We need more. Yep. We need more. I, okay? I love that. I love All right. that. Number eight. Yeah. Use colors that actually means something to you. Oh. Okay. Not necessarily the client's brand, yes. right? Oh. Not necessarily their customers or the product, okay? Yes. I mean, in all fairness, this whole color psychology thing, like, <laughs> come on. It's bunk. Colors it's can't <laughs> speak. It's not like the psychologist has the color on the couch yeah. <laughs> and is like, so blue. How are you feeling? To How the Why fuck do you? they know? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Like, this is all a bunch of, you know, malarkey in my opinion, okay? Absolutely. You are the Absolutely. designer here, okay? So make yeah. sure you use colors that speak to you. Yes. You know, and mean yes. something to you. That's and, right. And, you know, and, and make sure you share that, okay? Yes. Because that's more important than whatever this this color theory stuff that they say. Because, again, it's theoretically, yeah. it's all the same, right? <laughs> exactly. I mean, like, if we were all in a black and white world, <laughs> they would all be the same. So, just because it's color, I'm like, fuck. Yeah, geez. If you if you want to use blue in a food logo, go ahead. Right. That's, that works. Again, right? Yes. If it speaks to you, <laughs> sell it. Yes. All right. Number nine, <sighs> when you get a new job, mm -hmm. okay, the first thing you do, mm -hmm. you go online and you find a fucking template. Oh. There's so many templates oh out there, dude. Yes. There is sites on top of sites. They will give you free templates, dollar templates, $5 templates. Yes. Like, they do the job for you, yes. right? They'll save you time. Yes. They will save you money. Yes. Right? You don't have to work as hard. <laughs> it's perfect. Fuck, dude. Like, seriously. Extra long lunch. Dude. Yes. <laughs> only suckers come up with ideas from yeah. scratch. I mean, why would you do that? Right. Yeah. So, when you get a job. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Go out and find a template. Yes. Okay. Just mash that shit in somebody <laughs> else's design. Yes. You can make it work. Yeah. And if you come across that same template used elsewhere, yep. you just tell the customer, dude, it's yeah. fucking popular. <laughs> it's, it works, which is why we're doing this. Do you want to be unique? Like then you're just yeah. guessing. Yeah. You, this has been piggyback. used all over the world. <laughs> That's right. Piggyback piggyback off that success. Like, Jeez, come on. Done, right? Done. <laughs> That is brilliant. Yes. Yeah, don't yeah. work. Don't do stuff for yourself. Not at all. Not at all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> number 10. Okay. Number 10. Don't stress so much about oh, yeah. the messaging oh. and if it's clear. Okay. Right. People are smart enough to understand in out. a design. Yeah. Okay. Like they're yep. smart enough. You know, they're not going to read it anyway. No. So what's the point? Nobody reads. Exactly. It's yeah. all about how good it looks. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Like this is yes. something right that you want to be like, look what I designed. Right. Yes. You know, and it doesn't matter if they scrunch up their face and they're like, <laughs> is that a food ad? And you're like, no, it's. <laughs> It's oh. fucking, it's for a ghetto blaster, <laughs> right? Like, because again, it's all about the design. Yes. People yes. are smart enough to get that. Totally. Yes. And if they don't, they shouldn't be looking they, at it yeah, anyway. Yeah, you don't want them as a customer anyway. They're probably not <laughs> yeah, your fucking target exactly. market if they don't understand. because yes, they're dumb. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My, uh, exactly. Yes. So Yeah, you've got the latest fonts, the latest trends, all you're at, you're doing the right thing. Right? Absolutely, yes. right? If they can't figure it out, then that's on them. <laughs> it's on them. It's not on you. That's right. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. <laughs> All right, so the five for design, of course, okay? Look for trends and use them. Use lots oh, and lots of colors God. and patterns. Color psychology? <laughs> we, we, you just use colors that have that mean something to you. Colors on the okay? couch? Come yeah, on. come on, right? <laughs> that was great. <laughs> <laughs> when you get a new job, don't, don't, don't work too hard. Just look for yeah. a fucking template. That's right. Right? Just go out there and find something else that's been done. Well, you're a boss. You respect that, right? Absolutely, right? <laughs> yes. Jeez, that's an easy sell in my opinion. <laughs> and last but not least, yeah. don't stress about people understanding the message. Mm -mm. Because again, it's all about the look. It's Relevant. not about anything yeah. else, right? Yeah. All right. So those are the first 10 that are out of the way. <laughs> Lots of good, valuable information oh, here on how to is, destroy your graphic design career. This is a gold mine. <laughs> I'm telling you. Okay. All right, now we're on to the good stuff, okay? Now you're on oh. to the designer, okay? As oh, a designer. As a designer. Okay? Okay. So this is where shit gets real, All right. okay? Because think some of this stuff, this is where it's important, okay? Yeah. Yeah. So like number 11, 
don't fucking take breaks. No. It just slows you down. Yes. Right? Again, you lose momentum, yeah. right? And you don't want that. Yeah. Instead, work late, okay? Yeah. Drink a ton of coffee, <laughs> smoke, drink, yep. speed, yep. whatever it fucking <laughs> takes, okay? <laughs> the goal here is to get your heart rate comfortably <laughs> at 120 BPMs, right? All the time. All the time. <laughs> all the time, okay? That's productivity. Yes. This whole rest, work-life balance, come like, on. again, come that's, on, that's guys. Lame. Right? Like, seriously, if your heart's not sounding <laughs> like a freaking, like a drum and bass album, yeah. dude, you're not doing it right, yeah. okay? You're not getting four hours night uh, sleep at night, then you're not doing this <laughs> Good job, probably. and that's only after a rave, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Holy shit! So again, yeah. honestly, and yep. the nice part about it is when you start getting into those kind of habits, right? Yes. You don't even have to exercise anymore because no. your heart's <laughs> going so fast. You're just constantly burning calories, yes, right? It's perfect. So yeah. you know, again, don't take breaks. Don't take yep. breaks for yourself. You're gonna live okay? forever anyway, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Number twelve. Okay. Be alone. Wolf. Oh, this is the best. Right? Yes. Being part of a team yep. is for this wusses. Is lame. It's fucking lame, it's guys. It's so overrated. Right? People, honestly, on a team are literally just there to serve you. They're just there to <laughs> pander to your needs. Okay? You're, you know, like, use them and move on. That's right. Okay? Get what you can from them and move on. Right? Because you can't yeah. learn anything no, from them. They're not, so it's like, you know, use them. They're not them. better than you. Right? <laughs> Get this done. Move on. Right? You know, in fact, you don't even have to share shit with them. No. Okay? No. Why would you do that? Right? Absolutely. <laughs> You're a wolf. Be a lone wolf. Yeah, a lone okay? wolf. Because you don't need anybody else in this space. Can okay? you do the howl? Lone wolf. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Yes. All right. Lone now, wolf in it. Number okay. 13. <laughs> okay. Take credit for every fucking oh. thing. Everything. Wow. I'm not talking about just the shit you do. Yeah. I don't even take credit for the shit Other you people don't do. <laughs> yes. Because again, if you were in yes. that space mm -hmm. and somebody else presented something that was a good idea, yep. it's, it's to your benefit to let the people higher up know that... It was because of you. Yes. Right? Being the lone wolf. Yeah. They're just sucking from you, man. <laughs> so again, you should be taking credit for everything. Even if, if they just ask you for your opinion. Yeah. Well, you fucking did the whole job. Yes. Right? Because again, you gave them your opinion. <laughs> and your opinion is what counts. Yes. Right? So again, take credit for everything. Yeah. Because don't forget, you are the lone yes. wolf. Yes. Yeah. And you're better than everyone else. Remember that. Okay? Always remember that. Yes. Always remember that. Okay? Number 14. <laughs> Fuck constructive criticism oh fuck dude you don't tell me right? you don't tell me shit right? no you As don't if the creative director or your <laughs> customer know? or you know your professor or other designers <laughs> as if they know more than you okay like seriously yeah. do they know who you are yeah <laughs> See, right like again you know they're just honestly i feel that they are just trying to hold you they back. are they are yes absolutely someone who gets it yes <laughs> Right? And again, you know, like, again, you have the answers. Mm. You fucking know everything. Why else would they have hired you? Exactly. Would they have asked you to work for them? Yes. You have all... They're fucking lucky to even have you in their whole circle. That's, that's so, right. Dude, like, seriously, yeah. right? Yeah. Fuck yeah. creative criticism. Oh, that is so overrated and, mm -hmm. and so bad for mm -hmm. you. Yeah. Back <laughs> and right. Back and right. Number 15. Oh, okay. okay? Spend less time practicing and honing your craft. Oh, dude. Why would you do that? Why would you do that when you can go out, live life, get <laughs> drunk, party, be a fucking rock star? Yeah. Yes. You're a graphic designer. Yeah. You're a rock star. You just, do you really fucking think that Mick Jagger or Jimi Hendrix <laughs> practice? No. Seriously. <laughs> why should you? Yeah. You're fucking good at what yeah. you do. You don't need to work on it after hours or on your free time. Yeah. Like, that's your free time to, 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 to like, give yourself the credit and, and, and you know, you earned this. Yes. Right? Yes. I can go strut your stuff. Yeah. Right? And be who you deserve to yes. be. Yes. James Martin should be looking at my work and being inspired. See? <laughs> exactly. I think I'm getting it now. Yeah. See, dude? I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. So, again, spend less time practicing, guys. Yeah, okay? that's, that's... All right. That's dumb. Number 16. Yeah. <laughs> Don't fucking bother using a design process. Oh. It's all <laughs> in your head. 
Okay, it is. Yes. Okay, like seriously, it's all in your head. And mm -hmm. again, design processes they're too structured. Oh, they're I too hate that. do this, do this, do this. Like I mean, again, we're creative, right? Like you're you, the way you go about things changes every day based on the project, based on the time <laughs> of day, where you're at, yeah. how you're feeling, even right. the fucking music. Yes. But if I had a design process, I would stick to that every time, <laughs> and I would always get the same kind of result. Yeah. That, like I'm That's, creative. No. I don't want that. No, it should. Your design should be dependent on the seasons, uh, I, right, dude? <laughs> right? It's yeah. in you. Yes. Okay. It's in you. That's and again, right. you can just. Yeah. I've done this yeah. enough. I know I this. this. I, I got this. I got, I got this. this. I'm not going to leave out any key points because you know. Well, I guess I didn't need them. If that yeah, was the case, of course not, right? Because <laughs> again, you know why? If I forgot a step, yeah. you're the lone wolf, buddy. I'm the lone wolf. That's, that's right. That's right. Oh, and. Last but not least, mm -hmm. okay, last but not least, under this whole designer thing, yeah. and don't even think about bothering with those old fucking designers from last century. Oh. Why would you go look up like Paul Rand or Saul Who Bass that? or Massimo Vignelli? I mean, again, in Dinosaurs. all fairness, what do they know yeah. about today's design? Nothing. Like they didn't have the internet. They didn't have to worry about social media and shit. What do they know? Yeah. What do they bring yeah. to help you be a better designer? Yeah, nothing. Like, like seriously, they're, they're so last century. <laughs> yeah, literally. What, what possibly <laughs> could you learn from a web design about these guys who didn't even know what the internet was? Exactly. Is Did he use bubble fonts? Right. No. No. no right. Did he? No. no. Right. He doesn't know. Like, absolutely know nothing cool. to do at all. Yeah. Like, I mean, does he understand internet grids? <laughs> no. Yeah, no. Come no, on. Right. Didn't no. His grids were on paper. Like <laughs> that makes no paper is not the web, yes, dude. Yes, come They're on. They're so fucking different. <laughs> oh, I fucking can't. I can't oh, believe people geez. do that. Yeah, yeah. That's <sighs> wow. That's yeah, yeah. You, you you use you use that kind of stuff, then you're gonna get ahead, and you don't want that. No you kill shit, your career, right? right? <laughs> this is about killing your career, that's guys. Right. This yeah. is it. Okay. Yeah. So as a designer, okay, the things to remember: yeah. don't fucking take breaks. Nope. Okay. Speaking about taking breaks. Burn out. <laughs> Burn mm -hmm. yourself out. That's how you do that. Don't take breaks. Be a lone wolf. Number 12. Yes. Number 13. Take credit for everything. Very important. Okay. Everything. Yeah, even Number if you didn't do it. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Especially if you didn't do it. Number 14. Fuck creative. Yeah. Constructive criticism. Yes. Screw that, man. Nobody's got you on that one. That's right. Number 15. Spend less time practicing and more time rewarding yourself <laughs> for being awesome. Yes, okay? exactly. Number you got this. You got this. Yeah, yeah. You, you don't got need this. help. <laughs> Number sixteen. Okay. Don't even bother using a design process because it's only it's only going to hold you back. Okay. Be flexible and fluid. And yeah. number 17, yeah. don't bother with those dinosaur design legends like the Paul Rands and the uh, Saul Basses. Like, come on, man. Yeah. What what can you possibly learn? Yeah. This is the internet age. Yeah. You know? This is the digital age. Yeah. And they were not. Yes, exactly. Right? All right. All right. Bunch of old dinosaurs, those guys. Now we're going to finish off with customers and brands. Oh. So if you really want to destroy your career. Well, this is okay, awesome. Okay. Customers and brands. Oh, I, can, okay. I think I know where this is going. <laughs> like number 18. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Spend less time working on customers' work and more time creating fake shit. Oh. So you could like post it all over social media and be like, I did this. Yes. I did that. Look at look, yes. I just I just created something for a company that doesn't exist <laughs> for a name that absolutely makes no fucking sense. This is what design is all about, right? <laughs> like again, your customers work, eh, just get it done and uh, over the way with. Because yes. you don't actually want to post that online because it's, it's not so, cool enough. It's not cool, exactly. Right? This mm -hmm. company I have is called Bear Paw. Yeah. And I've made a paw with a bear. Whoa! So you see what I mean? Fucking you see how cool that is, though? Right? Versus, you know, something a little bit more normal that might actually pay that, the bills. That might actually, but yeah. Customers, no, they're going to look at Nobody Bearpaw and be that. like, I yeah, want that. That's awesome. Dude, I don't know what the hell Bearpaw is as a company, but exactly, it should right? be a company. It should be a company because it's cool. <laughs> if it and ever I want to show people. Here's the logo exactly, for Exactly, dude. Ring me. Exactly. <laughs> that's the trick, right? 
fake it in this world, right? right? Because again, the real customer shit's not cool. That's, so spend less time, you know, putting your heart into that yeah. or, and more time putting your heart in fake shit. Into fake stuff. Just putting it out there on yeah. social, right? That's important. Yes. If you have to, even honestly, look through other people's social and steal their shit <laughs> and just change it a little bit <laughs> yes. and call it your own, right? Again, you are the yeah, lone wolf. Yeah, that's right. right. You do what you want to do. Oh. <laughs> Number 19, okay? Whatever you do, don't look needy and reply to customers' emails right away. Psst. What? Why, would, Why you no. would you do that? It's, it's like okay. dating. You, you, <laughs> wait, you wait for five days. You want to make them wait a couple yeah, days. Right. You wait a couple days yeah. in replying to their emails. And yeah. then when you do, yeah. you let them know how busy and important you are, <laughs> which is why it took you so many days to get to them. Yes. You don't want to come across as needy like you You want to earn their business mm -hmm. and you want to keep yeah. them happy. Because no. again, it's not about them. No. It's you, about you. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> right? And again, if, if you look needy, yeah. dude, that's not Yo, good. That's not good for the wolf, right? That. Yeah, yeah. You know, like you, and, 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 and honestly, mm -hmm. remind them how important you are yeah. when you do finally get to them. <laughs> Because then they'll feel special that you actually finally got back to them That's days right. later. They're really lucky to they have are, you dude, as a client. They are. <laughs> These, they yeah, are. Yeah, yeah, okay. And if they don't see that, yeah, do yeah. you really want them? Yeah. No, you I don't, don't know. Want that. I don't know. I don't know about that. They're, they're bad news. When you do <laughs> actually get back to them, you know, whether it's yeah. via email, phone, in person, be fucking arrogant. Oh, dude. Oh, yeah. You know, because this way, customers will actually think that you know your shit. Yeah. They'll believe it. Oh, yeah. 100%. Yes. They will believe you know your shit. Humility is for people who are insecure and have complex, uh, compli uh, yeah, complex complexes. Like, yeah. Look at oh, me. Yeah, I'm, your I'm here. I'll put you ahead of me because yeah. you're the customer. Like, <laughs> that's not cool shit. Customers yes. don't want that, right? If you're arrogant, they'll realize how good you actually are and they will buy into all the shit you feed them. Big time, big time. It's so important these yeah. days. Absolutely. And it would is. it help to pepper in a bunch of buzzwords too oh, while, you're, while you're talking buzzwords to your and name dropping, and name dropping for companies that you fucking actually never worked for, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. But I walked into TD Bank the other day yeah, and yeah. I was telling the teller <laughs> how I thought that their cards in behind the counter weren't very good. Yeah. I just consulted for them. So yeah. I told them, I consult for TD Bank yes. in Canada. Yeah. Big fucking bank. Yeah. I told the teller what I thought and now, yeah. and now I'm I Consulting. That's yeah. how you have to remind. So that's name drop, <laughs> buzzwords, <huge>. right? <laughs> this way you remind them how important you actually are. That's right. Okay. That's right. Again. Okay. Remember, <laughs> be arrogant. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is fucking ridiculous. I love this. <laughs> Number 21 on how to destroy your graphic design career, customers and brands. Number 21. <laughs> Always be fucking heard. Okay? Always. Oh. Always be heard. You're the fucking expert. Yes. Okay? Make sure they know this and make sure they hear you. Right. Okay? Like, yeah, when they're talking yep. and giving their point of view on something, nod. Be polite. Yeah, right? yeah. Right? Nod. And then Wait. as soon as you hear yes, a break, a space. a space, then jump. Boom. There you go. There Pounce. you go. That's it. Pounce like the wolf you are. <laughs> Okay, that's what you got to do because yes. you got to make sure that your point yes. is being heard. Yeah, they're just filling up the the room yeah. with noise because yeah, they have to. Exactly, you don't even have to listen to them. Well, right? no, it's really, right? It's just yeah. you just gotta wait for that. Pause. You just gotta wait. That's to it, right? Interject. And then you pounce. Yeah, right. That's that's the important part here, right? Like because <laughs> I I mean they really don't have much to add to the conversation because they, they did hire you because yeah. you're the expert. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Exactly. Right? Absolutely. So again. Yeah. Always be heard. You're yeah. the expert and remind them this. Okay. <laughs> remind them of this. Number 22, when you are talking to customers, yep. okay, always use your own personal opinion oh, on matters, whether gold. it's design, yeah. it's business, right? Data schmatter, yeah. <laughs> you know, demographics, you know, experience. That shit really doesn't matter because you have all the fucking answers. Yeah. Because in the past two years experience that you have mm -hmm. in the business, <laughs> you have fucking learned it all. You're on YouTube at least five hours a day. You know fucking everything. So again, you know, don't worry about yeah. data. Always give your opinion. Yeah. Because that's all that matters yeah, in this. That's right. Right. You know best. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand. I right. 
numbers. What do they Jeez. know? <laughs> data. Like, come on. What, how yeah. has data ever it's, helped anybody? No, it's never right? helped anybody. It's never helped in this no, case. No, it's pointless. Fuck that shit, right? <laughs> All right. Okay. Number 23. Okay, number 23. Okay. <clears throat> Don't track time against customers' jobs. Oh. I mean, why would you? You know your shit. Yeah. Okay, you're an expert. You know yeah. how long shit takes. That's right. Right? All, all that's going to happen when you track time against jobs yeah. is it slows you down. Yeah. Really. And that's, you have to take a break yeah. and think for a second how long that actually took. It might take more than two seconds. It mm-hmm. might take five seconds. Yeah. Ten. Who's got that time? Yeah. Like, as if that's going to help you, quote, in the future. <laughs> because again, you already, you you crushed a job, you dude. No, know exactly. You know. Yeah. And tracking time doesn't help. Uh, it, it might help the, the weak designers, <laughs> but you're the fucking lone wolf. You don't need that you're a shit. Rock star. Yeah, you you don't, are a rock star no, and tracking track time, time doesn't help. You know, you whether you decide to build by the hour by project, you've yeah. got all the answers, dude. You do. Just pull that shit out of, out of your ass. Yeah. You'll make money. And I mean, again, you'll just, the way you spend, the way you party, it's just going to be flowing yeah. in, man. Yeah. yeah. Two years in the business, you know exactly how this shit Hell rolls yeah, out. You dude. know you exactly how know. every job is going to come out. Boom. Yes. Done. <laughs> Number 24. Yes. All okay. Right. We're almost right. done, guys. We're <laughs> almost done. Number 24. Mm. When you're working on your customers' brands, if you think you can make their brand look better, mm. cooler, do it. Oh, for sure. Often customers' <laughs> brands have really boring fonts. They do. Fucking jazz that shit up yeah. because now you're using Classic all the fonts. fonts. Yeah. Their colors are often like a single color, maybe yeah. two. Yeah. Because, you know, they want they want to be known for color. But, yeah. dude, yeah. we just said use all the colors right. in the world. Right. right. You need to expand that shit. Yes. You have to get creative with it because, let's face it, often their brands are boring. Yeah. And, like, I mean, what's the benefit of, like, not doing this? They well, thank you yes, exactly. for changing that shit. For Once they them, okay? see that frosty gradient that you got going on there in their in their work, they're gonna love that, dude. Shit. You know, yes. especially if they like even go as far as like try to like one up you and present you with a brand standard guide. Yeah. Like, okay, especially <laughs> one that another designer <laughs> oh, created. It's you know probably what shit. Happened. That other designer did it just to fuck you over. They know. they just did it because they want they want you to follow their yeah. path, their idea. Yeah. But no, no, yeah. no, 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 no. We can change that yeah. shit. You don't need brand standard got no yeah I, I, that's just no that's that's, just that smells like it's process just man I, I don't want to hear that you're yeah. the expert yeah and if it's boring fix that shit yes okay <laughs> that's right. okay fix that shit <laughs> and last but not least oh, number 25 <laughs> consistency is boring oh, okay when you see a brand yes. that looks the same over oh. and over there's nothing more boring than every that, time right? i see it i get the same right. thing out of it it's almost like it's familiar to I, me no dude you can't terrible people i hate are that. tired of yeah, that they're boring you it's boring to mix that shit up right you know what their customers will thank you yes. if you get creative yes with their brand yes because again they need to i mean <laughs> i'm t- i'd be tired of every week after week if you know i see the same ad or next weeks looks like the last one exactly with a different with title a different title and, and like what they got me yeah oh you got me guys it looks the same you just hard out hard. and didn't fucking you know want to work hard mm, so you took yeah. the same look you took the same <laughs> campaign idea and you just changed around the words and the people uh, yeah like, like what benefit does that, that do? doesn't do any good no dude Everyone should be different. Yes. Because yes. again, it's always exciting. It's always new. Yeah. And I mean, people will never get bored with that yes, shit. Exactly. Hundred percent. Consistency is for is last week's yeah, news. Dude. No consistency yeah. in brands. Yes. Is boring. Yeah. Is way boring. Right. <laughs> so again, <laughs> these are our last set. Okay, of how to kill your career. Mm-hmm. Okay. So number eighteen, spend less time on customers' work and more on that fake shit and post it everywhere. Number nineteen. Don't look needy and reply to their emails right away. Yeah, don't I mean, ever again, do you're that. not doing yourself a favor. Yeah, no, that's number twenty. Stupid. Be arrogant. Yes. Be very arrogant. Oh. Arrogant does everybody loves an Clients arrogant designer. Love that. They do, yes. right? They wish they were us, yeah. right? Oh. <laughs> number twenty one. Always be heard. Yeah. You are the expert. Yes. So make sure they always hear you. You are the okay? loudest voice. Absolutely right. in the room, right? Yeah. Be yep. heard. Okay. When you're talking to customers, okay. Always give them your personal opinion. <laughs> Always your personal opinion. Number 22, okay? Yeah. It's very important. Yeah. You're the expert. They hired you. That's so huge. make sure you use your opinion. Yeah. Not data. No. Not experience no. or history. No. Your opinion. Yes. Number 23, don't track time against jobs. No. Nope. Because you know how profitable you 
are. Exactly. Right? Yep. Number 24, when working on your customer's brand, okay, if you can make it look better, please <laughs> do. Use all those fonts and all those yes. colors. Fuck. Yes. They will thank you, okay? Yeah. Uh, nothing's worse than a boring brand. <laughs> and number 25, consistency in brands is boring. Okay, yeah. their customers will thank you yes. if you mix shit up. Yes. Right? Yes. People love, generally love to be confused. Uh, generally, right? When they, right? See, when they see something that they're familiar with and then it changes completely, love Love it. that. <laughs> it's so good. Right? It's refreshing, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Speaking of confusing, wow. this was. This was yeah, I, I, I feel like we should have had white shirts on for this. <laughs> Big black glasses. <laughs> combed our hair. No we had some. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. That's, but the funny thing is, yeah. listening to this, it sounds so fucking it, idiotic. It does. Absolutely. Like, you're saying this stuff, and I'm like... Holy crap. Right? It's like, <laughs> duh. Yes. Obviously not. And this is the whole gameplay with this. Yeah. I, it's just every time you're reading this, it's like you're, you're like, God, you're, this is the worst thing you could do. <laughs> and that's why I thought this would be fucking, this is just, yes. this is just something different. And yeah, I this think this is really, fun, really right? good. I'm moving to Italy because the, <laughs> the TV sounds awesome there. Right, right? <laughs> the game shows, they're great. They really play with your mind, don't they? <laughs> so many levels. <laughs> I hope you guys oh. like this shit. Um, yeah. So that was awesome. Thanks. That's fun, right? <laughs> yeah, it was really I kinda good. I kind of like when I surprised you with this shit. I know. I like I like about jumping. Not knowing what's going on. <laughs> so now on to the good news. Yes. Next week's podcast. Da, 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 da. We interviewed Mr. James Martin. Check oh. this shit out. Made by James. I mean, the dude was hilarious. He is exactly what you'd expect and that much more. Mm. There was some shit today that was just, that blew me fucking away. Mm -hmm. Like, we want to talk about, like, I mean, again, we don't just talk about the, the, the light shit. We go deep. And yeah, wow, some of the stuff he shared. Yes. Yes. I, I was shocked about uh, it. It was too. I was just like, I did not expect that. And again, and then, and I mean, I think that's what made this so much more special. The yeah. dude is so human. And again, same with Draplin and, yeah. and Janda. And when we talked with Peters, like, yeah. you know, like, it, it, again, it's just, it's, it's, we want to get to the human side of these people. Yes. Because yeah. we're not perfect, no matter how big these guys seem to be. Right. And the funny thing with that is too, is like, you know, what we've, when we've interviewed people, you, you really, the, you get the sense of what has shaped these people mm -hmm. into the design, you know, like how they became designers. Who they are. Yes, Absolutely, and who they are. And it's like right? these things all kind of culminate. And we all have that common thread, right? Yeah, we all we have, we've all wanted to be this or do this ever since we were young. Kind yeah, of thing. yeah. Although James did seem to kind of have come a little to different it, come path, to it late, didn't he? But yeah. But thank God he got dude. He here is he's a very talented designer. What a wonderful human being. Exactly. Like, just like, such again, a nice man. He was such a pleasure to interview. Yeah. You know, I I we we hope to interview him a second time, a third yes. time, or even just like me, hang out with him, which hopefully yeah. we're gonna have the chance I in the near hope future. That's gonna Fucking happen. Excited. Yes. And this you way. will be in for a treat listening to James. Absolutely. It's gonna be a great banger. treat. And I believe do you think do you think it'll be stretched out to two episodes? Oh, absolutely. Okay, it'll yeah, be I was two just gonna say full episodes. It went it went quite a quite a long time. And there's great. Nothing to edit. He yeah. he said you don't have to edit a single thing of this. He didn't so. even want to hear what, what he had to say. And I was like, so. that guy is raw and and as pure as you're gonna get. Absolutely yeah. right. What Beautiful. a fucking treat. Beautiful. So, yeah. Yeah. That was that was really good. Sorry. Sorry. No. That's okay. I know. It was <laughs> okay. A good episode. It was a good interview. It was a yeah. Good interview. I know. I was like totally stoked for the whole day. I know, for the whole Just day. Like, it really. I'm did glad you. it. Normally we we do this. You know, the different in the afternoon, in the afternoons or something like that. But yeah. First thing in the morning was just like, and it was a treat. It set up the like, rest of the day for us. I awesomeness. can't wait to get back to my computer. <laughs> and it's funny because you know what? Even though I had that crazy cycle mm -hmm. meeting, yes, with the crazy customer yep. and it just being thrown under the bus, yep. you were glowing, you were floating, it didn't you're phase like, me. I'm like, whatever, man. I agree. Bring it all on. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, that's what it's like uh, when you talk to inspiration. Totally. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So it's going to be a good episode. Please tune in. All right, everybody. Yeah. My name's Massimo. My name's Sean. Stay creative. Stay green! And don't be in a rush to destroy your career. <laughs> Peace! Well, we should do it like, don't be creative. Don't, don't be creative. <laughs> okay, ready? Right. Okay, right. All right, everybody. My name's Moss. My name's Sean. Don't be creative. And don't be angry. 
And no peace! <laughs> <laughs>